Alrighty guys, hold on to your pants because in less than four minutes I'm going to give you some vital hints, tips, tricks as to how to mount this little guy. The world's greatest invention. This little guy is used for, well, parking your cell phone right there. Which by the way, a little PSA, wipe down your phone after you're done doing your business and your belt too. Think about it. Everybody washes their hands and yet no one wipes down their belt or their phone. And that's absolutely disgusting. But anyway, that's a little side little PSA. I'm not here to preach at you. I'm here to actually make this mounting process easier for you. Now, as you can see, this card in here simulates the size of an iPhone 6S on which I am filming. So of course I can't put my phone in there because I'm filming on it. But there's plenty of room to spare, which makes me believe that there's actually enough room for iPhone 7 or 10 or whatever number they're on right now at the viewing of this video. Yeah, it looks kind of nice. You'll actually see the existing holes where my previous toilet paper holder was. And uh, I really like that. It was right next to my toilet. And the toilet, oh, I would say is about 12 inches away from the wall. But because this extends out so much, do you see how much that extends out? I had to mount that up and back. Because if I had mounted this in the original position, when you sit down on this toilet, your left elbow is gonna hit that every single time. So first little tip is to mount this up and back and away, or better yet, mount it directly across from your toilet, if in fact your bathroom design allows you to do that. Another little thing, and the only reason why I'm gonna take one star off of this guy, otherwise it would be a five out of five stars product, and that is the fact that it is very, very difficult to actually access the screws. There's one screw there, and one screw there. And they do provide the screws for you, as well as some drywall anchors if you can't actually find the stud. Um, but you know, I can't actually access this directly. You see that right there? I'm trying to get to it, but there's no direct shot at this thing because due to the, to the design of this, it gets in the way. And so I tried to thread it through. I tried all sorts of different extensions on my screw gun. It didn't work. So here's what I would recommend doing. This looks rather comical, but I added an extension onto my screwdriver. And if I were to slide it in the side, I actually get a pretty direct shot to the screw. And so you're probably gonna have to do something like that in order to mount this guy. Just keep in mind that you can't really go in from the front. You're gonna have to go in from the side in order to access the screw. And with that, then you'll be able to mount it quite nicely. It's just a little annoying. So that's the only reason why I give it a four out of five stars. This is the brushed satin nickel color. It's not shiny. I kind of like the, the matte tone to that. I don't really like super shiny, gaudy things in my bathrooms. But doesn't it, doesn't it look nice? I, I really quite approve of that. And lastly, little hint tip trick. And uh, you'll see that this, this little stud finder right here, you can use to find studs, but I would much rather find, have this little stud finder. No, this video is not sponsored by Stud Pop. This is called a Stud Pop, clever name. And uh, as you're floating this along the wall, there's a little magnet. And uh, you'll see that, oh, there we go. The, the magnet um, attracts the little drywall screws. So you know exactly where the stud is because the little magnet corresponds with the drywall screw which is in the stud. There's a little freebie, isn't that nice? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a few hints, tips, tricks, how to mount this little toilet paper cell phone holder. As promised, I did it in less than four minutes. And remember, dads with beards are better. Bo Chevisu, out.